people ask me which laptop I should get, and when I'm talking about people, I'm talking about normies. Yeah, nah, just normal people that just want a normal laptop for, you know, productivity, just office work, web surfing, you know, viewing content, just normal general stuff, you know, not video editors, not gamers, and they don't want to spend the earth, they want a good display, they want a good trackpad, good keyboard, and good battery life. And this thing here ticks all those boxes. And usually my three recommendations are get a Surface Laptop 3 when it has the 20% discounts, get an M1 MacBook, and this one here. And yeah, there's more expensive, more exotic laptops, but I'm talking, you know, around that sort of $1,000 mark, I'll leave the latest prices in the description, and it's even got better now, because this laptop here, this ZenBook, now comes with an OLED display and 5800U AMD CPU. Woof. That's the only way to fly. It's super powerful, this thing now. Now, it did tick all those boxes I said before. It is premium as well. It's got a premium build on it. It doesn't look like something that's really cheap. And the specs of the one I have here is, this has a full HD OLED display, and oh my God, it's amazing. 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4. That's on board. You can't upgrade it. A terabyte of M.2 NVMe SSD. You can upgrade that. 67 watt hour battery. The latest Ryzen 7 5800U processor. And of course, that does have Radeon graphics. You're not going to get much more powerful than this in an Ultrabook. And in fact, my friend Dodgy Dave, he has the previous version. So the version with the 4800U has a different display, but it's pretty much the same as this other than the CPU and the display. He loves this thing, okay? If I can get a hold of him, I'll see if I can get him on. Not only that, this thing here only weighs 2.5 pounds. So it makes the MacBook Pro look thick, like 14 millimeters thick, just over a kilo and 2.5 pounds and for ports it has hdmi 2.1 can you believe that that means 4k 120 micro sd card reader two usb 3.2 gen type c's so no thunderbolt because this is amd you can't actually get an intel version as well now with the intel version you can actually get a one watt display but don't think you have to pay the extra money for the intel version because the battery life on this is insane it's better than the macbook air and it would give the macbook pro a run for its money with battery life it says 16 hours of battery life i can easily get over 10 hours 10 12 hours there web surfing just general you know watching content and stuff like that of course it does have wi-fi 6 keyboard is really good as i said 1.4 millimeters of travel just an excellent keyboard you're not going to have any complaints this a trackpad's really good as well and it can actually be used as a number pad as well see a zeus you know they kill it with this innovation speakers are good as well so when you're viewing content it's awesome it is a 16 by 9 display and that display just looks amazing it's oled it has that pop and i've even showed it next to the ipad pro sort of display and it doesn't look out of place you know the contrast between the black and the white it's just it's oled you know what i'm talking about measured over 400 nits of brightness 411 nits 100 percent everything so that's sr RGB, P3, and it was 97% Adobe RGB. So when it comes to this sort of price point, yeah, you can pay more and get better laptops. And even Asus make more expensive laptops. But on the most part, they won't be much better than this. The power of the AMD, it was limited to 15 watts when I first used it. Now I can get 30, 25 watts sustained out of it. I upgraded the BIOS. And when it was limited to 15 watts, the fan never come on. Now you'll hear the fan every now and then if you're pushing it right. Only when you're slamming all the cores at once. And honestly, it's not that loud. And it only got to the mid 70s, sort of like 75. You know, I think it briefly touched 80 on a long sustained, you know, Cinebench run. So thermals, you know, fan acoustics, nothing really to worry about, especially for what you're going to be using it for, for just a general computer. You'll probably never hear the fans. 16 by 9, the display. I guess the only disappointment to me, it's not 16 by 10. Maybe in the future they can do that, but everything else, it ticks all the boxes. It's got decent sound, good display, good trackpad, good keyboard, great performance for an Ultrabook, great battery life, all the ports you want. You can upgrade the M.2 SSD. What's the complaint about at this price point? And it looks premium too. So that 67 watt hour battery in there, it's like, wow. The battery life is just amazing as well. This is still one of my most recommended laptops when people ask me if they want to spend around that sort of $1,000, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. This is on top of the list there, along with maybe the M1 Max. So yeah, great device. You're going to love this thing. And yes, you can play games and stay tuned for my 11th gen versus the 5800U in gaming. We're going to do that. You can play mobile games and AAA titles too on really low settings. Yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.